Hi, boys and girls. It's Mr. Rossman again, and today we're going to talk about our endangered species and where it belongs in a food chain or a food web. And what you're looking at right here is a graphic of an ocean food web. Uh, living creatures uh, uh, survive on the transference of energy. And as you may remember from the videos we watched last week, um, it all starts with ant life. Uh, in this example right here, uh, the beginning of uh, most uh, food chains or food webs is kelp, a plant that lives in the water. Now, uh, smaller animals will feed on the kelp, like say uh, the sea urchin or the kelp bass. Uh, and then in turn, those animals might be eaten by other animals. So for example, if you follow this uh, uh, series of arrows, the kelp is eaten by the sea urchin. The sea urchin in turn is then eaten by a sea otter, and then possibly the sea otter is then eaten by an orca. Now there are other uh, food webs uh, and chains intermingling within this uh, habitat. For example, we have uh, phytoplankton feeding off of uh, some seaweed or kelp over here. And that phytoplankton is then eaten by zooplankton, which in turn is eaten uh, by a black rockfish that is also eaten by the kelp bass. The kelp bass is both uh, a, a carnivore and herbivore. It eats both plants and animals, making it an omnivore. Okay, so there's lots of different ways we can follow uh, the flow of energy from one living thing to another. So when we look at our species, we have to answer two questions. Um, what are some an animals that might threaten uh, the existence of our species? Okay, and what are some ways that it protects itself from being eaten? Okay, so with our leatherback sea turtle example, uh, the leatherback sea turtle, if you recall, is the largest of all sea turtles. It's a very large animal. It can weigh upwards of 2,000 pounds and be up to seven feet long. So that very few animals can mess with an adult uh, sea turtle, leatherback sea turtle. However, when they are young, leatherback sea turtles are threatened by a number of predators. Sea turtle eggs are favorite food for ghost crabs and monitor lizards. Sea turtle eggs are also considered a delicacy in some cultures. That means people will eat sea turtle eggs. Baby sea turtles also fall victim to shorebirds and raptors on land, while sharks and uh, cephalopods, the squids that uh, adult sea turtles will turn around and eat, uh, can make a quick work of them in the sea. So baby sea turtles are easily preyed upon, whether they're in egg form or as babies. Now, second slide here tells us that uh, once a leatherback sea turtle is fully grown, it is relatively safe. Uh, and I threw in a statistic saying that one out of only every 1,000 leatherback sea turtles reach adulthood due to animal and human predation. When you are a predator, that means that you, that you uh, eat other animals. Predation is the act of being eaten by a predator. Okay. Now, the leatherback can use its sharp beak to protect itself and its ability to swim quickly to avoid predators. So if uh, another animal is trying to eat it, it can swim uh, quickly away. Or if somebody's trying to bother it, uh, it can bite you. And it also has its shell to protect itself. Okay. So adult sea turtles uh are rarely uh, fall victim to uh, predation, with the exception of running into commercial fishermen that would again be people, okay? So when you are looking at your specific species, you gotta ask yourself, what are some animals that might uh, uh, try to eat my animal? And what are some ways that the animal can protect itself? Now, the same with the American bison. Uh, just like the leatherback sea turtle, uh, they are often secure from predation because of their size and strength. Okay, so adult bison are huge, so very few animals will mess with them. However, 
Bison are regularly preyed upon by wolves in some areas, and they usually concentrate on cows, the females, and calves. So wolves aren't going to mess with an adult male uh, bison if it, if it has a choice of uh, going after a baby calf. So same as the loveback sea turtle. When they're adults, they're relatively safe, but when they're young, they're more vulnerable. Uh, grizzly bears can also uh, pose a threat to calves and sometimes old, injured, or sick adults, adult bison. So again, a strong, healthy bison is relatively safe, but you, if you're injured, if you're weak, if you're old, uh, you could get picked off. And that sometimes is what happens with most species when they are preyed upon by other animals. The healthy uh, survive and the, uh, the less healthy are the ones that fall victim to being eaten. The other animal that can cause a problem for bison are people. Uh, Native Americans of the plains oftentimes would uh, rely on the bison for food and for its pelts to make clothing and to make uh, uh, their their living structures such as teepees and uh, they often would use almost every part of the bison. Now uh, Native Americans hunting uh, hunting the bison is a little different than the habitat loss and just the uh, the hunting for sport that happened with with people and that gets into a different question about why the bison is threatened so we're just going to focus on what might eat a buffalo or uh, american bison so on the slide in the wild i'm going to change that name to american bison can be threatened by wolves, grizzly bears, and by people hunting them for food, okay? So those are three animals that uh, could threaten uh, the, uh, our species. Now, going back to this graphic right here, uh, looking at the orca whale, the orca is what we call the top of the food chain or the top of the food web. That means it eats other animals, but almost nothing eats it. Uh, the exception would probably be people. Um, orcas are often hunted by people, sometimes for their food, uh, sometimes for uh, things like their blubber, which can be uh, used as oil, and for other commercial uh, properties. Now you're going to notice this little arrow here that leads back down to the sea cucumber. Now the orca is at the top of its food chain or the food web when it's alive, but there are also some animals that are what we call decomposers, okay? And decomposers will feed upon the carcasses of dead animals or the remains of dead animals. And a sea, cumber, sea cucumber is one of those creatures. Now, uh, during its lifetime, orcas do not have to fear sea cucumbers. Sea cucumbers live on the ocean floor, so they would not be attacked by sea cucumbers. Uh, so when we are talking about protection, uh, it doesn't have to worry about that particular uh, particular threat. Okay, so when we talk about threats to our, our animal species, uh, we have to think about what can it do to protect itself. So if the American bison uh, is part of a food web or a food chain, what does it do to keep itself from being eaten? So we're going to think of some strategies it employs. So uh, one of the things that it will do is it says here in this Wikipedia article is that it has five apparent defense strategies in protecting calves from wolves, okay? So the calves could run to an adult, uh, run into a herd, run to the nearest bull, uh, run in the front of the center of a stampeding herd, or go into the water, such as lakes and rivers. Okay, wolves aren't the best of swimmers, uh, and grizzly bears would not venture far out into the water uh, to to go after uh, a bison. So 
uh, running towards a herd or running towards a source of water is one thing it can do. Um, another th thing that uh, the bisons have is it's the fact that it's large and it could uh, stomp on you, okay? It uses its sheer size to intimidate uh, other animals. And if it uh, came down on you it, with its 2,000 pounds of weight, uh, it might just crush you or injure you severely. So one way that the American bison can protect itself is we'll say rejoining the safety of a herd. Another way American bison it defends itself is by we'll say fleeing to water because as it said uh, it says entering water bodies so we'll say bodies of water And the American bison also protects itself by using its sheer size and weight to intimidate predators. Okay, so we've got three animals that could harm a bison wolves, grizzly bears, and people. And we have three ways that the animal can protect itself from being hunted or eaten, okay? Uh, finding safety in a herd, uh, fleeing to a body of water, or using its size and weight to intimidate itself. Now you might be thinking, Mr. Wasman, how would a buffalo or a bison uh, protect itself from people? Well, as this article often talks about, um, bison are amongst the most dangerous animals encountered by visitors in the various North American national parks and will attack humans if provoked. So you imagine a 200 pound uh, adult male uh, human uh, getting chased after by a 2,000 pound uh, stampeding uh, bison and who do you think would win in that scenario? So. Uh, Humans are very crafty and we build weapons, but if you are defenseless and uh, you make a, a buffalo or a bison mad at you, uh, I don't think you're going to come out of that situation uh, on top. So uh, the idea here is that in the wild, all animals have to protect themselves from possible threats. So what threatens it uh, in the wild and how does it protect itself? Uh, we are going to continue to work on this project with future, future video tutorials, but until then, happy researching, and we'll talk again soon. Thanks.